Hello again, everybody. I am back with the third mission of the Orange Star Hard Campaign, Andy vs. the Black Cannon. You might recall that on the previous version, I could basically just rush Flack with a recon and overwhelm him, which is pretty fun and creative. But it won't work as well this time, because this time he has two bases, so he sets up twice as fast and gets out of tank fairly quickly. There's one other twist here, too, which is that this city now has the lab map instead of it being a completely different mission. So, I'm going to get myself a T-copter to rush out to the city and grab it before Flak gets there. You might also notice that there is a base in the top left of the map near the Black Cannon. I plan to get that next, and that will then allow me to deploy out indirect there and take the cannon down efficiently. So that will be my win condition. Mini cannon shoots at the teacup because the teacup is more valuable than the infantry. But I don't care if a teacup takes damage, it still trans transports infantry just as well. Uh, let's see. It's the most efficient place the teacup can go. I guess I could stand here and pick up this infantry. That should work pretty well. Okay. A B-copter is useful here because Flak will get a fairly early tank, and the B-copter is kind of the best natural counter that we can get in place. Right, so we go for that capture. This base is now watched by the Black Cannon, so don't bother going for it. And this spot in the row of the cities is the safe zone. Recons are still somewhat useful here, you just need to have something else that can take out a tank. Okay, if I stand there, the infantry will shoot me, and that's not really worth it. I should just stand here over the ocean instead. I'll get hit by the black cannon then if I go for... Oh, new dialogue here, because this of course wasn't in the previous version of the mission. Despite it being supposed to be something that Sam is going to be going to attack, of course, he'll still be playing as Andy, same as in the normal campaign version. Okay. B copter in position. Go for these captures. Sadly, even the recon can't just rush on through. Sometimes Flak doesn't take that attack, the AI can be more or less cautious. Oh, he got a good luck roll there, but it doesn't really matter. So I get these captures, and that capture. And here I am quite content to take the B-copter shot and drop off so I can capture that city faster. Take that mini cannon, 1% damage. How do you like that? Alright, well, there's plenty more of those coming up, but I think I'll still be just fine. And again, I just need to kill two of them in one turn to get a perfect power score, so that shouldn't be too difficult. Tanks out in the forest, uh, not the forest, the road, the opposite of the forest. A place where it's really easy to kill. Might reduce my B-copter to 9 HP, depending on luck rolls. Nope, not this time. Okay. Well, should be a very easy power turn coming up. And from here, I'll save my money. I could, of course, just build a bomber and beat it. That works pretty well. but I think it's faster and more efficient to go with building a rocket from that northwest space.
What's the best way to get his artillery not to interfere? If I attack him over here, it might drive him to the west, which I don't really want. One kill, two, and I'll get a third just because I can. So now the question is, do I want to just park this T-copter there? No, it anti air that. That's no good. Okay. Well, I drove it west, but not far enough to matter, so that's fine by me. So, what should I do? Well, I think I could... drive around to that side. I'll take a shot from the artillery, which won't be pleasant, but it'll be just fine. The reason to do this so it doesn't drive up to this spot, which it could otherwise do and threaten the rocket that way. Now I can park the B-copter there without the B-copter being wrecked by this anti-air. And I'll come in there to just seal the deal and make it be so injured that it won't try to attack anything. Okay, well. In two turns, I will win. I guess I'll just evac these units so they don't get pointlessly killed. And that's that. Pretty straightforward. With this strategy, anyway. Anyway, this dialogue's the same thing as before. Mission complete. Is that like a ladder on the side of the black cannon, do you think? I'm not sure what else it could be. Next up, the hard campaign version of the Fog Lab mission. Till next time, have a great day, everyone.